you've got 600 meters of pitches to negotiate. So it becomes quite a heavyweight sort of siege operation. As soon as you're past the daylight barrier, you're in an underworld. The further you go, the, the, the deeper and more mysterious and richer it seems. You know, once you're in a team of people going down a cave, I mean, you have to look after each other. That's just the way it is. Nobody's caring about you know, designer labels on their gear. Indeed, the shabbier your kit, the more hardcore you are. Caves are pretty punishing environments in general. A drill's got to be quite tough. Usually they'll be caked with mud, often quite waterlogged. It's much more punishment than I would ever think a drill would take. Well, a battery power is crucial. Recharging a drill battery under, underground is a day to carry it out. Charge it overnight, a day to carry it back in. On this expedition this summer, over a day, we managed to get up 70 metres vertically. We managed that on only two batteries, so 35 anchors per drill battery. Well, if you've got a drill that you really know is robust, it gives you, it gives you a lot of faith. Like you've got to have something that you know it's going to work and that everyone knows it's going to work. It's a marvellous feeling getting to an underground pit that no one's ever been down. And you let, yeah, I, mean, I remember one time landing on this patch of sand and walking across and looking back at my footprints. It's like being Neil Armstrong really, isn't it? 